Yes. Uh, it's all great honor to invite you as a f all f a first keynote speaker. And uh, in your talk, you try to uh, share your uh, observation on the internet uh, application to the consumer electronics. And you try to summarize your uh, point on the, this talk. Well, if you, if you have a couple of years now, the short version is that the internet, people think about the internet in terms of what they used to. It's like a new phone company. And what I was trying to make is a fundamentally different concept that people created by using software to do their own networking communicating. And we can you know, make it look like the old phone company, but to really get the value of the thing very differently, and we need to provide people with access to the ability to create their own solutions. And the fundamental problem with the whole phone model is you can only communicate if you ask permission. So you spend most of your time when you design something worrying about how to use a telecommunication network. And my point is that we should be concentrating on the problem we're trying to solve. So you start out with a problem you want to try to solve. It can be something as simple as turning on a light, sending a message to this light. And if you can solve that, then the rest becomes easy. But in order to solve it, we need to think very differently about the way we can you know, send a message from here to there. Yes. Okay. So uh, in your talk, you also talk about the the uh, possibility of uh, the DIY uh, Do it yourself. Uh, DIY connectivity uh, infrastructure. Can you uh, try to okay. summarize again? Well, we look at this the way. Right now, you, inside your home, you own the wires. You do it yourself. So if you want to hook up another IP device, say a printer, uh, it could be, or even an IP light switch or anything, you just put it in. You don't ask anybody, you just do it yourself. And the next stage, and really the way we've got the internet, is do it ourselves. Because if you're an apartment house and you want connectivity, you need to cooperate with your neighbor. And it's that kind of cooperation, but unlike you, you buy it from some other, say, phone company, you and your neighbors sort of share ownership, and you don't have to sort of, you know, let's say the wired apartment house. If you're there, you assume they have the right to use it. So you don't have to carefully make sure you only use it, you know, if you pay, because you're there. In the same way, the example I used in the university is that we have these badges over here, where you have all this login information. Well, if you're here, you can see this, but why not just open it up? Why do we create all these barriers? What if we cooperate by working together, we create this powerful common facility? Uh, you also share the possibility of the uh, building the infrastructure among many smartphones. Well, that many, right? we, we, the smartphones become, the problem with doing among smartphones, it often is cheaper just to, you know, to gain an account. So we don't, that the really powerful idea is if we start locally with a tight geographic area, we have ownership, we have a way to make sure that all the stakeholders pay. Uh, once you leave there, it's then a question of do we just, it's easy to buy the capacity from somebody else, but you have strong bargaining power. So we really want to shift, it's not the problem of making it out of old phones, because that's a sort of interesting experimental thing. But we need to use that to show that there's a different economic model where we could use whatever equipment we have. But I think, I don't want to emphasize that because that's working around the existing system as a clever hat and demonstrates the power of innovating. But if you really wanted a sustainable model, you have to start with tight local connectivity. And that's why these apartment houses or campuses or businesses. In a business, you don't have everybody, every time they plug your computer, have to sort of register. You assume if you're there, you've got a right to use it. And then imagine, you know, if you now extended that from campuses and apartment houses, they got together, you did it in the city, we just can, it just becomes like the roads. It's just there if you use it. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Well.